Hello, friends, and welcome to another Fimble Famble Sauce Box with me, Janky Shenanigans. There's actually been two Fimble Famble Sauce Boxes this week. As you may know, uh, I had one earlier this week for Seasons After Fall, but now we're getting back into our Marvel Fimble Famble Sauce Box, which means that this week is Jessica Jones. So, let me get that timer pulled up. Perfect. And let's let's get started with some talk about Jessica Jones. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so, Jessica Jones. For those of you who don't know, of course, Jessica Jones came between Daredevil Season 1 and Daredevil Season 2 and follows the life of Marvel superhero Jessica Jones, who is just a, a delightful, delightful person. I'm going to blip out the timer here for just a second because I need to ah, get this. Um, she is portrayed by a lovely human being whose name I, I currently do not remember. She does an awesome job, but my goodness, I cannot think of her name. Ritter is her last name, right? TV series. Like Rosenberg, all that good stuff. What is her name? Kristen. Kristen Ritter. That's what I... Ah, that is what I thought it was. I was... Uh, whatever. Anyway, Kristen Ritter does an awesome, awesome job with with Jessica Jones, I think, and it, it the the one of the nice things about Jessica whatever one of the nice things about Jessica Jones is that it keeps a similar tone to Daredevil, but it does it in a slightly different way. So it's its own thing, but you can definitely tell it has that sort of what do I want to say gritty realism to it. I guess I mean. Jessica has superpowers, and obviously the villain she's facing has superpowers, which isn't really something you saw in Daredevil. Daredevil was a bit more realistic, whereas Jessica Jones is, is more, um, you know, with superpowers. But I, I think they handled that well, particularly in that Jessica Jones has a more noir feel. Like, from the moment I saw that opening animation, they had me. They have me at that because it's so, it's so good. <laughs> I just love that little opening. Not that I don't love Daredevil's opening, but Jessica Jones' opening is, it's really cool. And and the music and the score and everything, they really have me. I will say the one thing that definitely carried over from Daredevil is that Marvel needs to learn how to use some lighting. Gosh, guys. For some reason, the villains are like in well-lit penthouses, and the heroes are standing in dark alleys and dark corners of the dark places of New York City at night, wearing black. I get that that's probably some sort of statement on the fact that they're sort of like anti-heroes, and that the villains are kind of like, maybe good guys, maybe? Although, I would argue that David Tennant's Purple Man, Kilgrave, not a good guy. Not even in the slightest. I will say, there's that one part right in the middle where you kind of feel bad for him a little because his parents experimented on him, but that does not excuse what he did to Jessica. Which brings me to another point, what's interesting, another contrast between Jessica Jones and Daredevil, is that Daredevil, you're sort of fighting an outside force, you know? Like, it was Daredevil versus Wilson Fisk, and they were battling it out between them. And, and it was external, and it was interesting because there was sort of that conflict between gentrification and keeping things the same, but also both having this love of the city. Whereas I feel like a lot of Jessica Jones's conflict was internal. You know, she was trying to deal with this thing that happened to her, and Kilgrave was sort of like a manifestation of that thing. I mean, he was the person who did it to her, but he was also sort of like the manifestation of her inner turmoil. Particularly the parts where she kind of like hallucinated him being there, but he wasn't actually, or she heard his voice. And I will say, one of my favorite favorite moments in the show is that moment when Kilgrave slips and tries to control her and she realizes he has no power over her anymore and there's this look on her face like oh I'm coming for you now and the look on his face is just like dang I screwed up because he did he messed up big and you know the other thing with with Jessica Jones versus Daredevil is I feel like Daredevil had people supporting him. Not as Daredevil, obviously, with the whole foggy thing, but like he had people he could turn to. 
Whereas Jessica, first of all, she doesn't have a secret identity. Jessica Jones is Jessica Jones. But also, I felt like everyone was so awful to her. I mean, she had that she had her one best friend, obviously. But I mean, even that best friend didn't understand what she was going through until she met Kilgrave, and Kilgrave tried to make her shoot herself. Sorry, spoiler. <laughs> I should have said that beforehand. But but the point is, you know, you feel like Jessica's kind of like an island trying to deal with this, and everyone, oh my gosh, I just want to punch so many people in that show. But no, Jessica Jones. Amazing. Awesome. I highly recommend it. Yeah, I know. I highly recommend it. It is... It, it, it is just... It's an awesome show. Personally, I even like it a little better than Daredevil. At least Daredevil Season 1. So, Jessica Jones, check it out. Awesome, wonderful, do it. Do it. And that's Jessica Jones. So, I hope that you all enjoyed my little review of Jessica Jones. Um, of course, check it out on Netflix. And don't forget that next week we will be reviewing Daredevil Season 2. I'm already two episodes in. Yes, I've met the Punisher. Interesting character. And this is all leading up to the release of Luke Cage at the end of September, which will also be super exciting. Looking forward. Yes. So, join me next week for Daredevil Season 2, and then the week after that for Luke Cage. Yes. And if you liked what you see here, you can hit that like button below, or the dislike button. That's perfectly fine. Comments, positive, negative, leave them all below. I try to read them all. And more than that, I hope you have a lovely day, evening, or whenever you happen to be watching. And thank you so much for watching. It's awesome, it's amazing, it's wonderful. Thank you for your viewership. And until next time, this is Janky Shenanigans, signing out. I'm going to have to cut so much of this out. It's... Oh my god, we'll get there. Oh, that's going to be a whole rant unto itself. Oh look, a room full of explosives. Ah! Um, intergalactic super battles. What? Indeed. That, yeah, that's my reaction to I just walked off a cliff. That's what we call physical comedy. I'm Onion Sam. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.